I audibly said, oh my God, he coughed on that man. And I took off again. I took off. And I, I literally said out loud. And I was laying down, right? But my, it made my tongue hard. You would suck my tongue? It, I would do it. Would you open your eyes or close them? I feel like it's summertime. I got some linen pants on and some new sunglasses. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 63. Round of applause, please. Yes, yes. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. A lot of extra commotion going, but guys, let me let me apologize for the intro last week. I know I confused some of the viewers, some of the listeners. I said episode 63 last week. I was just so excited to get to episode 63 because I feel like this is going to be the best episode we've ever recorded. And I want you guys to follow along the journey. If you're new here, if you haven't already, look below. You see that subscribe button isn't pressed. You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Get your good karma. We got an announcement. I know a lot of you have heard that the live show June 30th, Dallas, Texas, Southside Music Hall is sold out, which, oh, it still is. Sorry about that. Thank you to everybody who's bought a ticket. But guess what? If you want to be a part of the experience, if you can't make it, guess what? You can still support. And if you're coming to the show, there's a way you can wear a uniform. We have limited edition live show merch that is available right now for one week only. For seven days, this merch will be available and then gone forever. Get it right now. You can wear it to the live show. And if you're not coming to the live show, you can just wear it on June 30th and know that you are there in spirit. Guys, this is just a nice shirt to wear to support. We could all be in uniform at the live show. Here's a burp. <coughs> Ooh, that tasted like a little bit of salmon, a little bit of peanut butter, and a little bit of a, a little bit of energy drink. Guys, the link to the shirt is available below. Make sure to go join that Koala Club, that Patreon co-host Cam has added some new vlogs, some new stuff, 10-minute talks. I'm telling you, Patreon is on the up and up. Go and join that. Join the Discord. Have fun in the watch party. Talk to us. And now, enjoy the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Ooh, we got co-host. Ah! I'm fired up, dog. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's... 85 degrees outside. That's really not hot. I wanted to say yeah. I wanted to be much higher. Hey, scoop you, scoot you, scoot I'll you. do what I want. Actually, it's come on, funny. come on, Dad. No, I'll do what I want. <laughs> Are you all right, dog? On, we got co-host Cam. Rocking Audemars. Yeah, my, yeah all, all my, my rocking Rolly Artemar Protect. Bust down, thotty on a bus. Copyright, down, copyright. A... We're not getting paid this bust episode. Scoot up for real. Scoot up. Hey, I actually have an idea. What? I always sit down on my pants right up, and y'all always get on me in the comments. Ooh, if you had long legs, too, your pants would ride up, too. Hey, Cam, how goes? Hey, how many stores can we walk into and, and purchase a pair of jeans that fit our body from there? Not from their online inventory of extra large sizes. You got to go to the expensive how stores. How many stores can we walk into, try on a pair of jeans, they fit, and we walk out? You got to go to the expensive stores. Hmm. <coughs> what's up, bud? Good. Honestly, Cam? I said, what's up? You said good. <laughs> Wait, what's the answer? I said, what's up? You said good. That's like... Again, level one human. It's like you. It's like you've never interacted with. Me. What's up? Good. That's like what six year olds say, at like a camp. Dude, you You're do. Like, what's up? Uh, what's up, Dallas? Good. <laughs> like that's literally what the little kids say, and you know that is. Dude, honestly, you act like a six year old. Oh, oh my God! I had the intrusive thoughts. My inner beings told me, and there's multiple, that's why I said okay. beings. My inner beings just told me to literally pounce on you and physically harm you after that thing. Don't open your legs. Hey, let's, let's look at his linen pants. He always does a good, you know what? I'm going to give you your flowers. These hands were just in my testicles. <laughs> smell your hand after this. Wait, what? Smell your hands now. No. It smells like, you, you'll smell like my manhood. <laughs> you'll smell like my most vulnerable I'll position. Smell like your, I'll smell like your little guy. I'll smell like you're not okay. What are you doing? It's everyone's. That's what you say. I'll, I'll smell. What do you want me to say? I'll smell like your third leg. I smell like my tripod. I smell like your, your human tripod. You sick bastard. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you I'm know. gonna give Uncle P his flowers real quick, because one thing he does 
uh, he always does for me. And it's not it's not satire or sarcasm or anything. He Very truly, nervous. He truly always tells me, hey, you look good today, bro. You, you put it on today. But as we all know, like his clothes are simply better than mine. So I want to say today that he, he looks good. I like the outfit. I like the linen pants. He's getting that like Pablo Escobar. Take that, it off of me. That John Varvatos, you know, that, that real smooth shit. You're getting that type of vibe today. The linen pants... A lot of ankle is showing. I like the, I like ankle showing. It's giving beach. That's a, yeah, it's giving sand is near, and all that's near is potholes and grease outside. But a lady tripped on a pothole oh outside. Oh my god! A wom- guys, a woman tripped. Yet I hope she's all right. It was like a business crew. You like, could tell there was like she was five people walking back from their lunch break, and she just ate it. Yeah, like, like right on the uh, crosswalk. Like the crosswalk. There wasn't a dip or anything. She just said, "Oh!" and just fell. Wham! Right, Lisa. It was kind of like your fault. Shout out to my mom. Oh my God! I might tell that story. No, later. tripping in front of people is so it's degrading. But it's irresponsible. But okay, you're. But you don't have. That's one thing you lack is empathy. I, I lack empathy. Uh, Olivia, so. I lack empathy. <laughs> Are you? You have a soft spot me? for the people you love. If you don't know them, you lack empathy. That's not true. Yes, you can. That's not true. Cam, you're the. I you're a nice walk guy. Up to any person in the world, start talking to them, and if they have a problem, I immediately feel for them and try to give them solutions and just be there for them. But as soon as you leave, you'll be like, "That person's tripping, a piece of shit." I never say that. Tripping though is just simply irresponsible. Cam. Unless there's a foreign object or a third party that has intervened with your walk pattern. If you just trip over yourself, it's irresponsible. I've already. Been we'll have to disagree on that. But can I get back to exposing you? Well, I was giving you flowers, but I appreciate yeah, sure. you. So I <laughs> said nice things, and now you're saying mean things. But sure, go. Cool. No, I'm honest with you. Pretty cool. I can like it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can You you do behave like a kid sometimes. There you what? go. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> you gotta behave like a kid sometimes. Well, can I tell you how? Yeah, please enlighten me. Your your diet is that of a kid. My diet is that of a kid. Just because I have snacks. Doesn't mean I'm a kid. No. My diet's of a kid? Yes. If people watched what you ate, they would think your sole form of transportation is a car seat in the back of a, like a 98 Corolla. You eat like a literal strapped in child. Can, I, can we go to McDonald's again? You got McDonald's money? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, then if you have McDonald's money, why don't you eat healthy good foods and, you know, make your body stronger? Oh, uh, I don't want to. That's, you. That's okay. your dialogue. You know what? I'll be more specific towards you. You're either 12 or 82 with your diet. I cannot tell. That's better. Kim, I don't understand how you can go home and put cold ham on, on regular bread and just eat that. And then put and then have potato chips on the side. Grow up. That's so you so you don't understand how I can go home and have the American dream of a lunch. You if eat- there is one lunch that screams America, it is a turkey sandwich with cheese and some. That's some so chips. boring. How, what do you want me to do? Make a, a creme brulee at two p.m. What I want a sandwich, bro. You but you eat like that all the time. You oh you eat like you always got out of the pool. What? <laughs> like. You've been on hey, land. Those, those hit. Those hit. Of course they did. That's when your you're, diet. When you're swimming and you pop out to a Capri Sun and Doritos. Oh my God, dude, Cam, but it pisses me off. Yeah, I, I'm not near a body of water, and I do eat like that. So, but that, what is wrong? With How the is your, sandwich? bro? Your mouth has Can to be dry and sticky. Answer me. What's wrong with the turkey sandwich? What's wrong with it? It makes me gag. And I'm the kid. You can't eat a turkey sandwich. No. Insert that one meme. Said a muff. Uh. A a muff, a, a, uh. Bam, uh, uh he said. Bitch, I couldn't eat it cold. <laughs> no, but you understand that's childish or very old. You eat what like what is old or young about a turkey sandwich? You you eat like you have ah, it. Ah, no, now yeah. you say it. Well, exactly. When I was young, I used to go stay a week at my grandma's house. I'd pack my game system, very miscellaneous clothes. They never matched because I was young and didn't care about it. I'd go to grandma's for a week every single day. <laughs> this is a sick ass thing I'm about to say. Every single day, I would make a lunch that consisted of a bologna foldover. <laughs> it's one piece of bread. Two pieces of bologna, you fold it down the middle. Here's the worst part. I made two of them. Okay. So why didn't I just make a regular sandwich? Exactly. I don't know. But I had two bologna foldovers. I had original Lay's potato chips, sharp cheddar cheese cut right off the block, baby dill pickles, and original Lay's chips cracked open with an ice cold Diet Coke. I'd walk back to her computer room. I'd play Club Penguin and listen to T Pain Bartender. And then, and then my rotation was I would open another tab. I'd play Millsbury and I'd listen to Baby Bash Cyclone. You got your mommy like a cyclone. <laughs> and she made me want to do it all night, night long. long. Woo! Go hard. <laughs> yeah, it was a sick <laughs> time, bro. <laughs> bro. It was a crazy ass. I don't... And, and the fact is that Cam is still like that. Cam came. Oh, my God. Oh my God. It, <laughs> Cam came to the studio the other day 
with a lunch pail that we were here for hours that grinding. It consisted of Pringles and gelatin. It did. I did not have gelatin and juice. My exact Cam's eighty four. I had I had a Gatorade Zero, a twelve ounce Gatorade Zero. I had a spicy chicken ramen noodle <laughs> soup thing. I had a Black Forest gummy bear, uh, a Black Forest gummy bear pouch, uh, a Robert Irvine Fit Crunch protein bar, and the last thing, if I'm not mistaken, was oh a Triple Berry Zero Fat Zero Sugar added. Oil Coast Greek yogurt. <laughs> Kev, you eat like you just got out of surgery. <laughs> no, my favorite bre my favorite breakfast choice slash dessert sometimes definitely gives surgery vibes. Oatmeal. Hundred oh my god. Bro, okay. You eat like an adolescent or somebody that's on their way out. You no, know what I'm saying? I don't. You eat like you're in a home. I do enjoy smoothies too. That's like a straw thing. That's another old thing. Are your teeth real? They're yeah, they're real. They're good. They're solid. <sighs> Dense bone. All right, well, you, you eat like you're stuck in, in like a 12-year-old purgatory. Like, all you know is Diet Coke and fast food. That's not healthy. It's it's not uh, financially healthy either, yet you do it every single day of the week. Seven days in a row. Okay, it makes me happy. When you die, they're simply going to say, I don't think anything really happened to him. It's just 40 years of grease and fast food. That's all it's gonna be. No, I wake up with a headache now, but it doesn't matter. It's because you're you're literally like you're fiending for Diet Coke. Like you're strung out from sugar and grease. Diet Coke That's has no good. has no sugar. The, you think Diet Coke has no sugar? That's what the diet is. No. Oh no. You think Diet Coke has no sugar? Okay. At least I'm not eating like Cam. Oh, healthy foods, just because they're warm and mushy means I'm old you and, never know. and decrepit? Yes, you never know when it's your last day. Enjoy some of it. I enjoy the shit out of oatmeal. Kim, you shouldn't birth. You shouldn't eat a sandwich and you're like, are fighting to chew it. Like there's bread stuck on Why the roof you of your okay, mouth. I don't know what sandwiches you've consumed. Mine are very good. Bread, turkey, cheese, lettuce. That's it. Oh my God. Where's the flavor? There's not a ton of flavor, but it's good. And then you talk. It's healthy and it's good. And then to, to reward himself, he makes cinnamon oatmeal. Grow up. Yeah. Go brown get it. Brown sugar. Oh my God, Kim. With water. Yeah, well, yeah. Kim, did you just get your appendix removed? Dog, I am healthier than you. That's fine. I'm enjoying my life. I enjoy it too. I like it. This all derives from me being a frugal Freddy. That's However, true. that's a good thing. I'm saving a coin, I'm saving a buck 50, I'm making some oats. I had eggs this morning, just scrambled eggs. Did nothing. you put salt on them? Yeah, I put Lowry's and Greek seasoning. Who is Lowry? Kyle? La no, Lowry's seasoned salt. Don't know him. You don't know Lowry's seasoned salt. I oh, you don't know Lowry's seasoned salt. When's the last time you had fried okra? Fried okra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy going crazy. No, I can't. He's trying so hard not to laugh. I was like, Jake, you're not going to lose your job, guys. Just let it chuckle out. Okay, honestly... You eat like an old decrepit man. No, I. You eat I'm, like you have a due date. I'm not going. To lie. Okay, and you you eat like there's zero consequences to what you. Eat. There isn't. Really, there's not. I could go get hit by a bus tomorrow. We can't keep having this debate. Go run a lap. Go run a lap and come back not puffing and, and <laughs> like screaming for air. Why do I need to run a lap? My job is sitting and what talking. What if a polar bear busted through our wall? What if my aunt had balls? We but if a one? polar bear busted through, I'd survive. You would be dead. Anybody would be dead if a polar bear was in here, Cam. I wouldn't. My adrenaline would be skyrocketed. I would literally sprint straight past it. Anyway, I would run that way like I'm training on zombies, like I'm running a train. He would come behind me in a very fa oh. holy. I've been working on my shit. I've been working on my foot muscles. Don't <laughs> ever, ever. Oh my God, you're. It looks like a small hand. Like it looks like a like a like a child's hand, bro. Have you tried, Cam? I've been doing. Oh my God, the bottom of his feet are so white. They might be whiter than mine. Cam, I've been doing. The bottom of your feet are very white. I've been doing this thing where I've been using only my. What's the black stuff? <laughs> Stop know. touching it! Touching oh my god. Oh my god! Wait, what'd he do? Oh my god, he licked his finger. No, he did not. He licked his fucking finger. No, he did not. But it's just like licking your, your it's just like licking your hand. I've been doing this thing where I've been using only my feet for the last 48 hours to grab things. I wanted to build my foot muscles up. Alright, Planet of the Apes. Relax. Okay, that's. Come on, that's not. You, you set me up for. Come on, you know my heart. It's not, it's not, yeah, pick some up, dude. G give me your, give me your Apple Watch. Get the hell away from. Give me, me your Apple Watch. Give me your Apple Watch with your toes. I swear I can put it on my wrist with my foot. No, you cannot. Try me. No. C come on. Your foot's disgusting. I'll do it with my watch. No. <laughs> See. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> Thank you. Try it. It's good for your feet. It's good for your feet. You don't even walk. <laughs> you don't even use your legs. <laughs> you literally get in the car, go through a drive through and go home. I'm not going to lie. There's somebody behind the camera that really, not, not live, but behind the, the, behind the screen that really enjoyed that segment. Oh, yeah, they did. They probably definitely screen recorded and everything. Put your sock back on. It's inside out. The oh, sock's honestly, yellow. Feel how wet that is. <laughs> oh, my God. Feel it, Cam. Feel it. <laughs> no, I'm not feeling it. Why have you only been using your feet for 48 hours? I just, it's, it's good. Because what if something you know happens? else is good? Water. <laughs> no, but listen. What if something happened to my hands? No hands. What else do you have? What if Your something feet? happened to the fast food industry? Why are you talking about fast food? Because We're moving on to a different topic. I'm saying I'm doing this foot exercise. I just, I, I worry sometimes a little too much. Like Cam, when try you asked it. me a couple weeks ago, do you think about me? I do, but it's often like <laughs> concerning thoughts. I'm like, God, I hope he's like, Sane when you go home, only pet no. your dog with your feet, and then you want me to pet Ruby with my feet, knowing damn well I pick her up and I kiss her little forehead. Uh, or whenever you want to change the TV remote, go grab it with your feet and go ABC. Hell to the no! <laughs> that you're a goblin. Oh. Stop. Sorry. One of the most awkward experiences happened to me this last weekend. Oh, God. Dude, what is it? It's one of those things, like, normally you can prepare for awkward shit or, like, things in life. I don't know if you can necessarily prepare for it, but you, like, you have your, your stick. You know what you're going to say. Yeah, you're aware that... But it's not like you don't practice in the mirror. Yeah, but you're aware that certain things can happen in life. Yeah, okay. This okay. is a, a situation I never thought would happen in my life. Okay. I was going to my parking garage in my car to get out. That's most people. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And so there was cars parked, right? As, I was As they should in a parking garage. Exactly. See, a garage every, of parked vehicles. Everything makes sense that I say. There we go. Not everything. I'm having no chest pains. <laughs> that foot shit. Blood's pumping to a place it hasn't pumped in years. And there was a man with his door open. He was okay. in the driver's seat. Okay. And I watched him open his door, right? Okay. I was like, maybe he's going to get out to go enjoy his day. He's, his driving portion of the day is done. It wasn't. His, his lower half never left the car. Only his top half did. He was sitting in his car. He opens the driver's side door. Only puts the torso out. You know what I'm saying? He's, what are you doing? He has incredible balance. Very good oblique strength. But as he's doing that, he sees me. His torso's out of the car. He looks real red in the face. And now he's making eye contact with me. I swear to God, Cam, this man throws up. <laughs> all over the parking garage but he never breaks eye contact with me have you ever made eye contact with another man while they throw up no it, it's so intimate i have eye contact with you if when you've thrown up it's you're always looking at the back of the head if you get a front facing view a pov of vomit with oh eye contact God. and their eyes get, get watery and red he was like this oh no ah. Hell. and the sickest part is you clearly watched it. Oh, yeah. It oh. was traumatizing. It's like a car wreck. Oh, I feel that. You know what I mean? You can't look away. <sighs> he th We're name. not doing it right now. <laughs> he threw up. Looking at me. Oh, my But it made me God. feel like I was at home. What the hell does that mean? Because he, like, he feel like he trusts. Preston trust used to throw up, and you just watched him. You're like, go, I Bubba. I've never seen Preston throw up. Go Ever? Ever. Good immune system. Might be a cyborg. You know what I mean? He's got them 15 wides. <laughs> Good immune system on that boy. He's like... Just digging in. But I'm saying, like, it made me feel like he trusted me, like he cared about me. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, watching somebody throw up and them looking at you the whole time, he didn't blink. I, I would go to say, I think he's throwing up for a weird reason. What do you mean? Like, maybe he just murdered someone. It's all, it's way too much. Now he has to vomit, but he's making sure you don't leave and tell other people that he vomited. Why does your brain go so dark? I, well, I, I definitely don't think of home and berries and pillows if someone, if a grown man's like, dude, throwing up is the absolute worst. Would you tie my hair back if I threw up? Top, I mean, I wouldn't tie it necessarily. It's not much. To tie. Would you I'd hold grab it? it? You grab my I'd head. Grab it like a little dirty little. Yeah. <laughs> like a what? What? I'd grab. Oh well. Would you whisper me sweet nothings? I'd whisper some sweet nothings. It's, it's gonna be all right. You know what Cam does? You're gonna make and it I'm not gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna fucking lie, and it's gonna piss me off. I'm not gonna lie. You. You have a thing with my back, huh? You got something for my back. What? You. Cam likes my back. 
I hate your I hate your skeleton. <laughs> All of it, head to toe. No, you. There's something that fascinates you about my back. How frail it is. I don't know what you're getting. Cam at. loves. Where's the evidence? You've just said I could say he loves my knees. He has a fatuation with my knees. Cam, tell me the evidence. All right, Cam, do not, do not lie. I won't lie in front no. of God and the fans. I won't lie. You, you rub my back very often. What? I rub your- Oh, you're, talking, you're talking about shoulders. No. I do not rub your Cam, back often. Cam, you don't do this? Are you nuts? Cameron? I stroke Cameron, your back. You're going to piss me off, dog. You're already <laughs> pissing me off. I do not rub the small of your back. Like, <laughs> like we're about to go hit the damn salsa. No, and normally I do make jokes sometimes. I'll get right here in this region Cam, for all my loved ones. Because no, I've been blessed. No, not massages. Blessed. More like a reassurance thing. I do not reassure you on your spine ever. Cam! I have never once tickled oh your my. L4 lumbar. I've never done it. There's ne that's never happened. Bro. I've just, I've just, okay. what's the word? Groped your L6 to L2. I've never done that. But Cam, why are you so scared? What do you mean? Of people knowing the real you. I am, because it's not me. Cameron. Do I caress his back? Yeah. Thank oh, you. She's, she's, Liv, you're the worst too. You just go right into No, it, Cam, it, but I think it's more of a subconscious thing when you do it. I don't rub your back. Cam! I don't rub your back. More times than not, if my back's to you, I can, I can, I, I know a Cameron hand is going to be on my lumbar. Are you kidding me? Cam, how do you know about my lower back hair so much? You show it <laughs> once every three episodes. You literally go, look at my lower back hair. You talk about it at home. You. Is it not there when we're at home? How would you know? Because it's there. It's your back. You, you mean to tell me I hit this on your back yes, on a often on a on a recent basis? Yes, just like that. You're insane. You you don't lead with the fingers that much, but it's more palm. You're insane, Cameron. You're insane. I have a video. Peyton, <laughs> what, what is the full name gonna do? Stop it, freak! I have a picture of me laying on you in a bed. What does that mean? You like me? You clip if you are holding me. If I'm in the bed and you laid on me. What does that say? Did you just fall and land on me? Did you get me off of you? Did you fall? Someone could have took- you could have been pressing down. You said, come here, Pablo. <laughs> you said, come here, Peta. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. With kisses, with four little kisses. Cam, I will put that picture in the Discord. Put the picture in the Discord. Put the picture- matter of fact, find a video of me rubbing your lower back. I don't- that's intimate. You're it's a intimate you're it a, never happens. You're a liar. I will completely say this part. That right there? Yeah. yeah. How was your weekend? We, I completely skipped it. We just got straight into the shit. Average as hell. How was yours? <laughs> That's all you got for me? I, I don't... I mean, we, you, we were here. We were There worked. you go. That's Camp's tuna sandwich uh, life. Uh, His ham sandwich oh, life. Boring. Because I can't give you exact details. <laughs> rubbing lower backs and shit. You got a secret Creep. life, dog. I have a secret life. I have a secret life. Yeah, you have a secret life. Because you're so secretive. About everything. I you ask you about things, you say, oh, nothing. I eat tuna sandwiches and gravy. That's your I life. And oatmeal. I, ever, I, I, I had an interest. fathom how disgusting that would be. A tuna, tuna sandwich, sandwich dipped in gravy? I haven't had oh, tuna in my life oh except my for on God. this podcast. I don't like tuna at all. But oh, I have a big... I, I, I discovered something. I, I had what? a new experience this weekend. No, you didn't. I went to there. I drove to an airport before. I've never done it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I drove to an airport this weekend. I remember. And it was one of the worst experiences of my life. Airports were meant to... Airport, anxiety. No, yeah. They do not go hand in hand. Airports were meant to, to ruin people like me. Like, they were meant to torment me. So I went to drop a friend off at the, uh, at the airport and at DFW. DFW is one of the biggest airports I've ever seen. I think it's the... It's either the third or fourth in the country. Bullshit. I hate it. And... This is my problem with airports, right? Fix your fucking signs. Oh my god, the signs are the signs are insane. I want one sign that says, "You want to leave? Take Follow this road." This, yeah. <laughs> or, or honestly, like, I've always said this: they need to instead, of, like, the signs. There's tons of them. Yeah. So there needs to be like, like instead of everything's a white line, mm -hmm. like the exit lane needs to be like red lines. Like, stay in the red line. Exactly. You're gonna exit the airport. Exactly. Something like that. Exactly. How can Cars drive themselves. How can I type in to this website and it can tell me everything about the world, but I don't know how to leave an airport yet. 100%. I spent, I kid you not, I dropped my friend off at the airport at 7 p.m. They exited my car at 7 p.m. I didn't get out of the airport until 7.43.
Oh. It took me 43 minutes to find out how to exit, Cam. Mm-hmm. I went around the airport so many times, TSA was starting to watch me because they, they thought I was an playing. investigation. They thought you were a threat. They were like, check the Jeep that's going around 72 times. Um, they're trying to plant something. Yeah, go ahead and uh, pull them. We don't want to bottom like that. Go ahead and pull them over. <laughs> I, I literally got pulled over somewhere in the airport, like in one of those passing lanes. I pulled over to the side and turned my car off to calm <laughs> <Thank> down. <God. laughs> I turned my car off and and shed a couple of tears. No, that dude, is. it's bad. And DFW is like a small city. Like yeah, it's it bullshit. Is enormous. Yep. It is very very large. But no, I dude, that happened to me one time. But you're better than me. You pulled over. Mm-hmm. I just I literally started punching my steering wheel and I screamed. <laughs> but no, I made sure no one was around. Cam's me. got angry. She's- and I just punched it and I was like, I don't get out. And that was really. It. Oh my god! I just had a crazy memory from college. What? Remember we were in the car together? I don't know what happened, but it was something with your maps or your phone or oh. something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Tell the story because I don't remember it. Bro, so <laughs> it was the end of my second year, and I'm starting to go on visits, right? And Newman College, uh, yeah. a school in <laughs> oh, yeah. a school in Kansas. The school's in the middle of it's nowhere. Division two in Canvas. The Canvas. 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 Division two in Gand. <laughs> it's a division two in Kansas, and from where our JUCO was, it was like three hour drive, three and a half yeah. hour drive. So there's no need to get on a plane to go to this visit, whatnot. So I just drove there. So being from Texas, I'm driving through, uh, like dead through Oklahoma City, like mm-hmm. downtown. And there's the same thing. There's signs. My phone's not loading. There's no service. There's no service. And I'm on the phone with him. And when I tell you, so I'm basically, so you know how when you have, when you have maps on, right? And it tells you your ETA. So I was on a time crunch. Like I had to get there a specific time. So I'm already, I can't really afford any mistakes. So (laughs) it was like downtown Oklahoma city. I was supposed to take an exit. I couldn't get over. Right. Yeah. So then. I'm like, damn, I'll take the next one. But my phone doesn't, like, it's just buffering, trying to redirect me, and it never goes through. And I'm starting to freak out. And I'm just (laughs) driving. And I was like, and I'm looking for, like, I I can look for a sign and just take the right one most of the time. But there's no signs now. There's hella signs now. There's none. And I'm like, what is going on? And I'm on the phone with Peyton the whole time. And I literally start losing my mind. It's the maddest I've seen, kid. I was, I was, I'm not going to lie. It was bad. Like, I was tweaking. I was like... (laughs) <laughs> can't even do it, bro. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. I was gripping my steering wheel. I was like, ah! like it was. B- and the service I was, was so bad. Lunatic, it was like bro. cutting in and out of Cam screaming. So I hear, ah, and, ah! It was mother. Yeah, it was so bad. And and then I ended up taking the. This is the one that was the worst. So then I was like, I just gotta take this exit and hopefully it can connect. Mm-hmm. I take this exit. The phone finally buffers and, and connects to some signal. And it said my ETA went up from tw- 21 minutes. Like, I missed one exit. I drove for maybe <laughs> shit two or three, four minutes, off. and now I'm 21 minutes late. And I was just, it was, it's like I was in a downtown city. I didn't know where I was. My phone wasn't working. I couldn't read the signs. <laughs> then there was no signs to read. Everything was going on. No service. Definitely bit your finger a little oh bit. Oh, my God. I don't know if I bit my <laughs> finger, but I definitely, I was gripping the hell out of that steering wheel i hit the steering wheel it was bad it was that, keep going sorry i'm not i'm not proud of that moment it was hilarious but i'm not proud of it now that we're talking about driving i got i got a question for you okay do you get intrusive thoughts when you drive oh hell yeah you ever like on top no, of like a large you top of like a large like bridge and you're like what would happen if i just like oh bang you, this right out of here you can, you can ask olivia i say that all the time <laughs> Oftentimes, when I follow her, I'm like, what if that semi ran Olivia off the road? She was going to her imminent death and hope, like, what could I do to possibly save that? I'm like, or what if her tire popped, her car starts to barrel over? What do I do to save this oh, situation? Yours is situational. Yeah. Mine's well, like, mine's like, I can, I can inflict oh, no, I do harm. That too. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I can go off this bridge right now. Exactly. Uh, no, I, I actually go over bridges when they're over bodies of water. And I go over and I go, I wonder if I threw myself off the bridge would i have enough time to roll down the window to where i could swim out of it and i've yeah, always wanted no. to think things like that see you we need help Something. you take it to a next step which I, I i get but mine's more like i could literally change the course of my life right now 
Yeah, I mean, me <laughs> me driving my car off a bridge, I'd say that's fair to say that changes the course of my life. And too. we were in the parking garage literally like yesterday. I was like, oh, I could yeah. literally take a baseball bat and just hit every car in here, and no one would know it was yeah, me. Yeah, bro, uh, first off, a parking garage with no cameras is like ask, is literally asking for crime. It's so dangerous not it's to have security in there. Someone could just back up <laughs> and go, Well, I've done that before. Oh. Allegedly. Allegedly. PTSD? Not here. We were there like a week ago. Bro, I've learned something about myself, and I don't know what it is, but I have to like do weird stuff before I accomplish a task. What the hell does that even mean? Bro, like when I brush my teeth, now, don't look at me like that. You have to do something weird before you can accomplish a task. I'm afraid for what you're about to say. Because then you, your example immediately is you're brushing your teeth. Yeah. So you're either saying you're brushing your teeth, and then you follow it up with a weird thing, or you do something weird to allow yourself to brush your teeth. <laughs> okay, first of all, I think people brush their teeth way too often. That's a what? It's a different story. But every time I brush my teeth, what'd you look at? Who's behind you? <laughs> it's a fern. Every time I brush my teeth, right? This uh -huh. is my process. I get my brush with the bristle. You yes. know what I mean? Yes, correct. So far, but I don't go straight to the toothpaste. I have to do this, or I itch. You know the bowl of the sink. I don't know what you're about to say, and I'm already preparing for something really uncomfortable. I have to go four times on the bowl of the sink. <laughs> and then I put the toothpaste on, then I brush my teeth. With your bristles. Yes. Your teeth are going to fucking, they're going to drop out of your head. Your teeth, your smile is brown. Your breath is <laughs> rancid. This is why I'm not open. You should never, that shouldn't be a thing. You, open, closed, halfway, door, passcode, that should never be a thing. You just told me and Earth that you take your toothbrush and you scrub as if you were Snow White and you were in your, or, or Cinderella and you're scrubbing the little floor it, and then you brush your teeth it, with it. It's a light scrub. You shave your beard in that same sink. No, I don't. Where do you shave your beard? The barber shop. Oh, the barber shop. So you never clean it up yourself? You no. like wolf? You. That, okay. But you, it's a light know, brush. Shut up, no, no. You know me with hygiene health, and that is icking the piss out of me right now. And whenever I poop, I have oh to my, have my oh own. Oh my God, oh my God. I thought you were going to say something about poop and toothbrush. I swear, I was going to leave. Oh my God, I was going to leave. <laughs> when, I, when I poop, right? Everybody does it. Everyone poops. I just do it often. <laughs> oh my God, no one does what you're about to say. I have to have my elbow in the middle of my right thigh the whole time I poop. But like this, like erect. Oh no. Why are you on your tiptoes? That should never happen. No, I, my poop is one of two things. If I'm on the phone, I'm right here. But if I'm not, it's like I'm focused. I'm ready for game seven. I'm like this. What do you think about when you poop? Get out. <laughs> Just get it out. Get out. Get out of me. Get out of me. That really? sounds... No, that honestly. Wicked. But when I brush no, them, I literally the only thought that goes through my mind is poop. Like, accomplishing your task. Yeah. Poop. Okay, but that's I have weird things. It's more, it's always bathroom stuff. Like in my normal life, I'm fine. You need to get that bathroom disinfected 100% like very quickly. But it's just whenever like I'm brushing my teeth, it's four light bristles scratches on the on the bowl and then I can and I can do it. And then when I poop, elbow on right thigh. Erect right arm, <laughs> yes. middle of thigh. But it's not like I'm thinking about what it. What is that? I don't know, this but it's sick. If I don't do it, I can't be happy. I'm gonna start doing that. What? <laughs> your happiness, <laughs> your moral, your aura depends on your four bristle yes. strokes and your... Yes. What the hell is... Dude, something's... I love you, but <laughs> golly. Do you want more? What? Bless us with more, sure. <laughs> You're, dude, you need... We need to do a like a, a a mini vlog of your bathroom rituals. And whenever I shower, I you know I have a washcloth, right? Uh huh. And I have First my off. Mm. and I have my body wash. Uh -huh. I have to fill up the washcloth with body wash, uh -huh. but then I have to put it on the water to rinse it all out. And I don't use that. And then I, <laughs> I kind of do that. Too. Wait, you do it again? Oh, then no, I do it again. No, no, you're a sick freak. No, what the hell is that? You wasteful ass. It's not wasteful. That's super wasteful. I itch if I can't do it. You itch because you're not cleaning properly. You're getting it all off and you're just rubbing water and rag. That's why you itch. I thought you were saying, because I, I do a very, I take my, my little microfiber thingy. Right. I do a very specific zigzag pattern. Two full pumps of our Manscaped uh, <laughs> uh, body wash. Yes. I go, e, 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 e. Then I do it in the water. I do a couple circular patterns in the water. Let it get really nice in there. Then I... No, I can't use that. Do you that. wash your body the same way every time? 
Uh, oh my God! You would think mine is a like a clinical study. No. I, I do not miss a step ever. It is the exact same wash pattern every single. So time. we're the same. Oh hell no! Oh nowhere near. No, no, we weren't relating. I wasn't trying to like make like come for you. We were not relating. I promise, we're not on the same. But like, I can't, I can't accomplish anything. Like, I feel like the voices will come if I don't do these things. See, I don't have voices. Like, you need, you need to con, like, you need to wear a hoodie throughout everything. You know what I mean, though. No, I don't. I promise, I don't. I have no voices. I don't bristle stroke the 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 bowl. But four light ones, like that, and then I go. My the most I do is wet it, and I go. <laughs> like on the back side to get the extra water out. Oh, that's it. How far back do you go with your toothbrush? You got to get those molars. That's all I got. No, on your tongue. Oh, my tongue, as far as I can take it. <laughs> as far as it'll let me. <laughs> you gag. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, Liv actually doesn't like it. I just prefer a really clean tongue, so I, I, I test the water every single morning and night. But if, if Liv ever hears a. Ugh, she goes, you got to stop doing that. You tear up? Sometimes, yeah. It's bad. I don't, like, I'm not aim. That's not the goal. But that just might be the crossfire that I get left in. That might happen. You enjoy it a little bit? Oh, no. Hell no. It's like baby throw up. I hate it. Cause mine, I like baby throw up. Mine's not. I literally, oh, my God. What? <laughs> that, yeah, that was that's insane. But it's not like eh, it's not like eh, it's like <laughs> like it's a deep. Run. Holy shit! So you don't have strange like things like that. Like you have to do something before you finish it, before you start it. You have to do something before you start something. I would say the only one that I can agree with you on is the my the shower. Yeah. Like I have to go, I zigzag yeah. the body wash and then I go, I hold the thing, put it up in the water. And then I do the same wash pattern every time. Because if you feel, you feel like if you, you feel like if you don't, then like a family member will die, right? What? What voodoo ass mama I don't bad know. juju do you got going? That's where my brain goes, like dark. Your brain needs to come back. It needs, it needs a leash. Your brain needs a leash. That's a fair statement. Your brain needs a leash. Speaking of leashes, right? Oh my god. Speaking of dogs, calm down. Fish, right? Like every what? <laughs> Speaking of leashes, speaking of dogs, fish, right? It's a damn, we're playing I Spy with words. Like, you just said, <gasps> you know what I mean? No. So like, right? You need to relax. Every animal. <laughs> I'm starting to feel threatened. Listen, every animal has like a home, right? As a kingdom. <laughs> Think about it. Let's finish. Let me, let me get there. Let me land, right? What the fuck? When were you Ariel? <laughs> Under the sea is where I go pee part of that world. I've never seen that movie. See, you just did the caress back. I don't do I was it. thinking about you. you oh, okay, God. so right, look, listen. Listen to this. I'm trying. Dude. What king do, do kangaroos belong to? Now listen. <laughs> what kingdom? So like, right, bass, right? Bass belongs to fish. Bass is a fish, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Are kangaroos like dogs? Like who do, <laughs> like who do they belong to? It, well, hell, I don't, but they're not dogs. You know what I mean? They're certainly not dogs. The closest to them. No. What would they be? Monkeys? A kangaroo? No, because they're, they're, they're they can't be. Kangaroos are dog kingdoms. But dogs aren't monkeys either, and that's not mind blowing. I didn't say that. Exactly. Dogs belong to hound. They're hound creatures. Okay. What's another hound creature? Like, 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 listen, like, Labradors are dogs. Cool. Bass are fish. Kangaroos? Are kangaroos. Well, kingdom. Mammal. No, okay. The African jungle. They're not in Africa. I don't, I don't know, know why I said that. They're are they in Aussie, Aussie land? You want to get a little crop of SAT in the Aussie land? You want to get a little fish on the pop, eh? You want to get a little sleepy loo boo? You want to get a little tick on my butt? <gasps> oh. Oh. Tinkle my butt. <laughs> you belong in jail. I don't know what that means. I don't like it. Is Your giving, spit ever warm? No, it's giving. Right? You got a little warm spit? Huh? I need 30 you got a little minutes. warm spit? You ever warm up your spit? Well, how do you think that would go in the microwave? If I matched craziness level with you right now, you'd feel as uncomfortable as me. What part of social life makes you uncomfortable? I'm comfortable in 98% of all situations. You ever had too much eye contact? You, right now. This entire, the last 10 minutes, you've been like. <laughs> And you say something about crumpets and Windy Lou from Whoville, and then you say tinkle my butt. You know, 
Yeah, you <laughs> said it. You know what I don't like? What? Is when people try to intimidate me with their eye contact. When you can tell that somebody, oh, yeah, I hate somebody's that. In- intentionally giving you so much eye contact. Like, I know you're trying to win right now. Yeah, it's like, I'm sorry you're 5'8", but you don't have to stare in my skull to prove you belong here. It's like, just move, guy. Okay, how do you get out of certain social... It, how do you get out of certain social situations? Example. So, like, say you're on a say you're on a date, right? Okay. And you're and you're in a place where you can't go to the bathroom, but you have to Ooh. fart real bad. Oh, you gotta hold that sucker. <laughs> I'm talking. You gotta create a knox like a, a gas bomb in your in your stomach. Okay. Oh, and then as soon as you close her door, <laughs> just like right. You do I, that. Oh my god! I was about to say something interesting. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not gonna say. I'll tell you afterwards. Oh my god. Okay. Also, what if you have a? It's first day, right? First date. You're, you're 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 looking right into to your lovely date's eyes, and your nose starts to run. Practice. <laughs> oh, you just gotta sniff it. Really? See, see you have too much pride issue. <laughs> what? I would literally go. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you're a fair I'm person like, to ask. I'm probably not. That's what I'm telling you. I'm 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 slightly too comfortable in most scenarios I go into. Like if I if I do something, why is that off? <laughs> Sorry. If I do something that's might be gross or whatnot to someone else, like it's just me, and I'm not gonna hide myself from Earth. So. Okay, but think of different social situations, right? Name any of them. I'll I'm g- I'll really. G- I'll give you my exact outing plan, my exit plan. Like, um, this is one of my worst situations in social settings. Okay. If somebody gets hurt in front of me. Oh no, that's bad. I. I, laugh. I can't do shit. No, I laugh. I. It's bad, bro. I. I never want to, but it's like, it's. I'm a nervous laugher though. Like, if I was getting robbed, I'd probably be laughing. I'd be like, no, you don't want to do. This. Like, I'd be. I'd be giggling. It's always been like in school. If I got in trouble, I'd be like. <laughs> Like it's bad, dude. If, when people hurt themselves in front of me, it's an it's a quick like one second adrenaline. Holy hell, are they okay? Yeah. And then once I realize if they're talking or gasping for air, I'm just like, <laughs> and I just laugh. I feel horrible. As, but, but you can't fall in front of me. Oh hell no. Do not fall in front of me. No. I am not there to help you. I will literally. Oh yeah, no. You're getting zero help. I, I will turn around, and walk the other way. You can see me, see you fall, and I will pretend that I didn't see it, and you will acknowledge the fact that I am pretending. Oh, that's rough. Dude. But what can I do? No, really though, because like, what if you go to help them up and then you slip and they exactly yeah, that's my no. biggest fear. No. If I help you and now I'm on the ground, now we're enemies. Yeah, dude, no. <laughs> now we're in. Yeah, you dr- you've drugged me down to your level. I do not belong on cement. You apparently do, or you have a part time job with it. I don't belong here. And like, or when somebody does something embarrassing, like they embarrass themselves oh in front of me. Oh my god, secondhand embarrassment. I fucking I can't deal with it. I love it. You hate it, I love it. I can't I thrive for that. Like, if somebody's, like, singing a song loud, audibly, and they clearly it's mess bad. up, and then they're telling me, like, they messed up, don't say I that shit to me. I want you to sing with me. <laughs> and you're just watching it? Yeah. I'd literally be like this. No, I'd be like, I'd be like, like oh, vibing God. In it. You start to itch? No, or, like, I'll get a phone call. Oh. <laughs> I always get phone <laughs> this calls. This rat bastard, the amount of times... I've picked up the phone. Yo, what's up? Hey, you got to stay on this phone with me for at least 30 more seconds. Oh, my Why? God. Happy yesterday. Or just shut up and just stay on. Just stay on. I'm like, all right. Uh, so what's up? He's like, no, I don't need the fake conversation. I just, I can't, I can't be vulnerable right now. I just got to be on the phone. What happened yesterday? This man calls me. He goes, I've sweated through this linen. <laughs> he said, I look down. I look like I got a Tony Stark right in the middle of my chest. There's a big ass sweat mark. I got to get out of the store. No one can stop me and talk about my sweat. I'm like, all right. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's someone walking very fast behind me. And I was like, just go. He's like, oh, my God, I'm being followed. And I'm like, just shut up and walk. Like, that's the thing. Me and Peyton, he has too much pride when it comes to these issues. Not pride. It is. How is that pride? It's a deep-rooted pride. Like, you don't want to be wrong or bad or seen as gross. Like, I would literally be like, dog, I'm sweating. Sorry. No, Cam, that's not true. Are you nuts? It went public. When you sweat, you do get self-conscious about it. Yeah, I... Exactly. I try to hide it, but I'm saying if it's known, but I'm not going to lie about it or make something up. But I stink. Yeah, you secrete fear. I, I don't. I just like, no, there's sometimes I smell awful. Oh my God. I Cam, smell ranking. Cam like, doesn't have an in between. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's not either, like you. Sh- it's either just sweat marks, but there's no scent at all, or it is. I mean, it's. I'm talking like Louisiana Bayou. You smell like, like six is, days ago. Yeah, literally. No, it's bad. I smell like Saturday morning cartoons. Like like straight out the bed, running in there in warm pajamas, like oh my the fleece god. ones. Oh my god. I just had a, I just thought of a story. I me and Cam had I'm triggering your memory today. I had one of the worst grocery store experiences of all oh, time. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> god almighty. This is I mean, do you want me to tell it or you to tell it? Uh, let me get this first part. Yeah, you oh my god. 
I don't know what it is oh with me God. in grocery stores. This is why I order my groceries because my body shuts down you, in it, grocery marts. You're too afraid. Like you're afraid of living. Like that's what I'm talking about. You're afraid of messing up. It's the constant fear of messing up that makes you mess up. Bro, Holy but shit. I always see the worst things. This is unbelievable. We were walking into the grocery store. The first thing I see walking into the grocery store, there was a woman walking out. She had a cup of deviled eggs with a straw in it. A 32 ounce cup of dev, like the plastic, the big John's with deviled eggs in it and a straw. <laughs> Do they sell those Who in there? Who are you? Where did you purchase this from? They don't sell them in here. What is your agenda? Because if you're drinking deviled eggs. Yeah, well, how's that get through the straw? Oh my God, you belong in like Alcatraz. If you're drinking deviled eggs, you need to be in a stray jacket because that is not. How does that? How does one go about that? I don't know. Why is there straw in the cup? I don't know. Who sells thirty-two ounces of deviled eggs? How much was it? Like, there's so many things that could be asked. Oh my god! And then as soon as we walk into the store, I thought I saw somebody from high school. They look just like my friend from high school. And I don't know why I got this boost of confidence, but I ran up to them and I said, "Jimmy," Dude. and they turned around and they weren't nice at all. And Peyton went, "Oh." oh. They said, I don't know you. You know, like when, like I'm talking about like straight out of a movie. You're like, hey, Veronica. And she turns around. It's not her. Oh, oh God. Like it almost scares you because it's like a doppelganger. And normally they'd be like, oh, no, it's okay. But he was like, I don't know you. Bro, he came back. So I got the cart. It was like, this is like within 30 seconds of being here. We see deviled eggs woman with a straw drinking devil's liquid deviled eggs woman. I grab the cart. He hits this little nasty ass trot to his what he thought was his friend jimmy he turns around i'm whipping the cart and pushing back in all i see is Peyton go oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like he was frightened and then he just walks back no confidence he walks up to me he's like bro i thought that was jimmy and it wasn't they were just mean to me and i was like you're 24 i was like what do you mean they're mean to you let's get the damn groceries and then for some reason cam decided it was a good idea for Peyton to take charge of the cart yeah oh that's i cannot you know my body shuts down when i'm anxious Cam gives me the cart and I couldn't see anymore because I was anxious like my vision goes blurry and I don't really have control oh. of my phalanges oh, so I'm driving the cart you're and not driving it you're pushing it you don't drive them you just push it it's four wheels Holy shit, dude, so, I almost fainted at this thing. Oh my god. And so I'm just riding driving the cart. Oh my god, I'm getting hot just thinking about it again. I'm driving the cart, but for some reason I wasn't aware of my surroundings. I swear to God, I just mow over a family of four. Oh, yo, when I tell yeah. you, we're so lucky that woman was nice. That could yeah. have been ten times worse. I smacked the shit out of her kid. No, so he's so we're going through like the little middle part. There's like aisles to the right and to the left. And I was like a slightly behind him and he turned to look at me. I'm talking like this goes to show that, that shit can happen in the blink of an eye. He literally turns this way for half a second to just converse with me wham, right into her car. And I, dude, I literally, if y'all have seen me enough, when funny shit happens, I take off. I just disappear. And that way he was pissed that I left him by himself. He literally smacked the side of this. It, I swear to God, it was a woman with three kids and they were walking and she's exiting the aisle. And we just, I'm talking full blown T-boned her ass. And just wham. It was so and I literally was like, and I just left. I dipped. I turned right. I left him with that bad friend by me. I know. I'm so sorry. I couldn't. I was screaming, it was, laughing. Bro. It was so bad it knocked the toddler off of his pivot. Oh my the god! The toddler yeah. stumbled. Away. Oh my god! And, and then, then we got we. So I went right. I knew that obviously he would keep going straight after the interaction. So I turned like a couple aisles, and then we like we rendezvous like three aisles later. Oh my God, we both had tears in our eyes. Holy Mine were shit. sad. Holy shit, I was crying laughing. And then so whenever I'm I'm at peak anxiousness at this point, like I, I'm ready to lay down. Oh my God. Like I I can't function anymore. And when I do that, I start to get sick. Like I start to like cough and sneeze. <laughs> Bro, so he, he, so he was like, I have, I've had enough of this shit. I got to get out of here. So he gives the cart back to me. So now I'm pushing. Now, So now we're going the opposite way. We're coming back towards the checkouts. So now we're pushing. He's on the left of me. And we're, pu <laughs> we're pushing the cart. <laughs> we're pushing the cart, bro. And I'm so, so like, again, he's to my left. And I'm talking to him. And I see a worker, an employee, very small man. 
He's walking behind us like with like with an agenda. He's got to go somewhere. Maybe he's on his lunch break. I don't know. He's walking fast and he's right behind us. And Peyton literally does not see the man. And I move over to the right as like to give him more space. And Peyton goes and just coughs. I'm talking right on this guy. <laughs> I cough on his chest. It was directly on him. And I swear to God, it was so funny. I couldn't, and this sent him to oblivion. I could not keep it inside. I audibly said, oh my God, he coughed on that man. And I took off again. I took off. And I, I literally said out loud, I heard it, Peyton. I heard it. I said it. Peyton heard it and the guy heard it. I said, oh my God, you coughed on that man. And I walked away and I literally turned around and the guy's, the guy's looking at Peyton like this. Like he's just disgusted, but he has somewhere to go. So we didn't have enough time to put him in his place. I physically watched this man grab his collared shirt. And yeah. go. <laughs> it's like, and then I, I left the cart, bro. Like I again, I run when shit is too funny. I just I get away. My ass got so wet. I was then, so oh nervous. God. And then I turn around. I'm like 40 feet away from at this point. I'm gasping for air again. This is a grocery trip from hell at this point. This is a damn nightmare. I turn around and Peyton is literally over the grocery cart like this, just with his head down, a six seven skeleton, just head down in the grocery basket in the middle of the produce. It got oh so bad, God. a worker came and put her arm on my back. Yeah. It said, are you okay? And then the sushi, the sushi woman, she asked over the counter, she was like, is he okay? I like, and I was, I was like, everybody, <laughs> leave me alone. All he's thinking in his head is, please stop talking to me. Like, stop bringing more attention to this. But me, I'm evil. So I was like, oh no, he just coughed on your fellow worker. And she was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> no. I, I wanted oh to go to bed. God. I put my head in the freezer aisle. Oh I opened up the chicken strip. Oh for, I opened up the chicken strip refrigerator and put my head in it to calm down. Oh my god! And then the worst thing is, all of that for him to just buy four lemonade primes, two packages of of un like unrefrigerated bacon, a box of assorted Lay's chips, and uh, rice cakes. That was it. And a Red Bull, a sugar free Red Bull. <laughs> I had to get out. Oh my god. That was a grocery store trip from hell. Oh, I almost just got a headache. Dude, again. I have a headache now. That shit, dude, just reliving that. No, I swear to God. And the part that pisses me off the most is we were on TikTok Live. Yeah. And we were civil. Uh -huh. But then, like, because the shit at the beginning happened, so we were like, oh my God, this is going to be a hilarious TikTok Live. So we get on it, and then we're like, ah, this just isn't hitting. The reception's horrible. Yeah. So we ended it. So, like, the shit at the beginning happened before the TikTok Live, got on TikTok Live. Reception was off on the store, ended it, and all that happened. Yeah. And I was like, bro, if it would have just if we would just been recording regular yeah. something, that could have been unbelievable. Like yeah. oh my God, it was so funny. Bro, bro I don't know, like me in, in my regular life, like I just can't I can't function in like a society anymore. And I feel like as I get older, like my reasoning gets bad. I feel like my, I'm just like no, your my reason, motor your reason is horrid like <laughs> your understanding of life and what we know it to be is just it's not on par for what everything like it's not good <laughs> how like give me like, an example you understand things and how they work I'm very like, smart how, how uh how many men do you think it would take to like defeat a gorilla bare hands there's no weapons how many men seven that's my point. Exactly. You How big is the gorilla? It's a gorilla. How big are the men? It, men! Like, that. who asked those questions? We we're right to say it's a megalith of a gorilla. How many? It's six IT workers. Like, you don't need background <laughs> details. Yeah, see, that's why I'm smart. No, you don't. Dude. Seven is a seven. good number. What gorilla? Bro, honestly, one grabs the arm, one grabs the arm, one grabs the leg, one grabs the leg. Now you got three leftover men. Oh, just sending them body shots? Yeah. Like that gorilla is not going to rip that guy that touches him, his arm off, literally off his body. And then the other six are absolutely traumatized and they don't do anything about it. Do gorillas get scared? Not from us. But if there's seven of us. Maybe from Smaug. Like, I don't know if they get, I don't know what would scare a gorilla. Does the gorilla have hobbies? This is my point. You know Why what I mean? Why do you need to know if it plays Baccarat in its free time? Like, it's a gorilla. No, that's important it's though. It's mano y mano and he's going to win. Does it have allergies? <laughs> Does the gorilla have allergies? What are, you gonna, what are you gonna build a pollen bomb and throw it at him? You can go in with pop and smoke. Like you can you go in with strategy, right? You're, you're so oblivious. How? So seven guys in a gorilla. I feel like it makes sense to me. You're oblivious. How how long do you think it takes 
uh, for a house to be built? <laughs> I don't know. I've never built one. So I take a guess. Let's see how smart you are, buddy. Just your your reason. If it's, I mean, t- like two weeks, probably. <laughs> Did you say two weeks? If it's a, if it's, a, if it's like a two story house. <laughs> two weeks. Yeah, one week for each story. Do you have an like a a a, a thirty seventy seven la- like laser four thousand drill? Two weeks. <laughs> if, if 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 you're a frequent at Home Depot. Frequent? What are you doing? Building it with? Uh, who do you, you have a sixty-man crew with you? I don't know. I, f- I think average house takes like three to four months. No way. Yes. For rookies. Oh, oh, cause you're a vet. I don't you, build homes. You have a ten a ten year tenor with building homes. I've seen people build shopping centers in like two days. With a six hundred man employee Look, crew, but this stuff is it's not built in two days. This it's not. That's a movie. The <laughs> bench warmers. They built the little park in in, in twenty four hours. This stuff doesn't apply to my life. I don't need to know this. How long would it take you to run thirty miles? That's a long time. How long would it take you? Is there traffic? You're running. You're not on a freeway. You're just in hills or something. You're running. I get an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Oh my god. What do you have? Six legs. What do you? An hour and a half. All right, you silver surfer. But I'm not a scientist, Cam. 90, how, how long would it take you to one run mile? Five, five, six minutes. Oh, six minutes. Six minutes. I, I don't run. Why would I need to know this? Just by what you said alone, six minute mile. Six times 30. Are you good at math? No. Okay, 180. Minutes. Yeah. It's like an hour what? and a half. Right. 180 minutes is an hour and a half? I don't know, Cam, man. I'm going to sweat. 180 minutes is an hour and a half. 180 minutes is three hours on the dot. Do we? That's if you kept a six-minute mile for 30 miles straight. Some people could. Not you. <laughs> Not you. Okay, what else? If you ran 60, if oh my God, if you ran 30 miles straight at a six-minute pace, your feet would be mangled. It would have looked like you put your open toes in a blender. Like you would be, ap- you would be broken. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just like that team, you'd be broken, bro. I didn't write a hypothesis on this. I don't know this stuff. Who knows this? There's not a normal human. That's my point. Your your general, re- like I said, your your learning of life is not on par with everyone else. But who knows Dog, this stuff? You just said you could run a six minute mile let, for thirty miles. Okay, well straight. let me let me try again. Go again. Do you know what it takes for someone to be the president? Yeah. What? Like, like you apply. Did you just say you apply to be the president? Yes. Like there's a job listing. One eight hundred save. One eight hundred most important job on earth. We're taking all applications. You have you have to have a resume attached. A resume. You need a CV to be the president. You need a resume to be the president. <laughs> like government.com doesn't have jobs or something. Who the fuck? Government.com. Org. Uh, I just, <laughs> You think there's a waiting list for presidency? There's probably a lot of people that want it. Oh, my God. Like, I couldn't get it because I don't go to school. Oh, my, I'm glad you know you can't be it because, my God, oh my, you just said you can apply to be the president. That's how you get like jobs. Like, a damn application. Like, is they're it, trying to work at Sprouts. Is the president a job? Yeah. How do you get jobs? Not, it's the president. So, my logic isn't bad, though. You just said you check boxes and fill out an application and attach your handwritten resume to lead the free world. Yeah, and, that, and then the con- to be the ruler of the free world. Yeah, and then you get like a face-to-face interview with like Congress. Oh, you sit down with the little with the little recruit. You sit down with HR. They have an HR department for the White House. Yes. You don't think the White House has HR? Dog, are you kidding? Me? Yeah, and you gotta wear like. How a- fast can NASCARs go? Two hundred miles per hour. That's your closest one yet. That is, your, that's your most, that's your most realistic No, answer. presidents, you gotta get an up, up, okay, how do you become a president? You just ask somebody? You do, no, you can't just be like, hey, can I rule Earth real quick? You mind if, mind if I take a shot at it? No, no one knows that. Dude, there's, you have to be like, you have to be a, at least 40. You have to be a minimum 40. You have to be a U.S. resident. I thought it was 35. You have to have, I don't care, but you can't just fill out a paper and print it off at Starbucks. You can't just walk in on Starbucks <laughs> Wi-Fi, fill out an application, and get a call from, from the, the House of the Senate. You're like, hey, you seem decent. It'd probably come, be, come lead Earth. It'd probably be the CIA. That's Because they do, like, background checks on you to make sure you're okay. You think you'd pass that background check? If I had the good education. Which you don't. <laughs> you clearly don't. They take JUCO applicants. A JUCO applicant Communications to run Earth. Major. <laughs> that didn't get technically. 
<laughs> that's the that's the hey, I'm here for sport. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Put me in uh what is it? It's either communications or uh what's the other one? Oh my god. General learning. General it's like general studies. <laughs> general studies? General I'm going to school just to go. Like that's what that is. General studies. No, oh but honestly, god. no one knows how to become president. It's you, not applic it's not an application basis. If you think you can literally check oh, oh well, no, I don't I don't have asthma. Um uh, well, you didn't have asthma. Ooh, ooh, artificial air. Oh I don't have my work experience. Uh, I've, I've worked, I was a YMCA leader. Uh, I bagged groceries. Oh, can I be the president? Yeah. Get out of here, dude. There's there's got to be some kind of interview process Get to become the here. president. How long do you think it takes a tree to fully sprout? Oh, that takes a while. Probably like 300 years. <laughs> <laughs> like the big trees. <laughs> the big trees take a long ass time. Three hundred years. Like the thick ones. The thick ones. <laughs> yeah, the ones that have wisdom. What are you planting? Everest? It three the ones that have wisdom? The ones you pray to. You just said it takes three uh, three <laughs> centuries to grow a tree. Like this one, probably not too long. That's made of plastic. That's made of plastic. It's in a <laughs> fake bucket with super glue at the bottom. Who gives a shit? No one gives a shit. But for you to guess, it takes three centuries for a singular tree to sprout. I don't know what a century or a dimension is. Like, I don't know what the difference is. What's the one with the D? The dimension? It's a decade. A decade. Right. How many years is a decade? I know there's two answers. There, no, there's not. Two options. There's, no, there's not. There's one. It's either 10 or 15. It's 10. Yes. How long is three quarter centuries? 75. There you go. Yes! Baba. Because three quarters is 75 cents. There you go. Good job. Good job. I think I broke my foot. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> this is people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop, Pop culture, culture Peyton and, and Cam. Pop, Pop culture, culture with Peyton and Cam. Woo! I got one, Cam. I got one better. Um, go ahead first. So we, I finally watched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Not the second one. The first one. Never watched it originally. Don't know what happened. I'm a huge fan of Marvel movies. Me and Olivia finally watched it. Uh, he's never seen it either. We're getting him to watch it this weekend. And then we're all going to have a little rendezvous. A little, a a little movie, movie night thing. with snacks and kisses. A little movie night with snacks, kisses, cuddles, and options. And I don't know why I said options. But, yeah, it was really good. Um, they did a really good job with that movie. Olivia fell asleep, but she woke back up. That's the important part. And I enjoyed it. Nice. Very good. I'm going to go 8 8. 8.9, maybe 9.3-ish range. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard a Very lot of good film. things. You're going to enjoy it. Um, 82-year-old Al Pacino is expecting his fourth oh. child with 29-year-old girlfriend, Nor Alfala. Dude, I saw that. Dude, I need to know. How are you not shooting blanks at 84? How, no, how is it not, how's the rope getting off the ground? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's your garden hose getting filled with blood? Or water. Water. How, like That how? is impressive. As hell. 84? 84? We need to talk about these old men getting these women pregnant. 84, and you can still get bricked up. That's insane. One, it's impressive. Two, it's selfish as shit. Your kid is going to grow up without a father. Like, obviously, you can watch your movies. Actually, he's or not, because she's 29. She's going to carry his child, yes. give birth to his child. Yes. Child will be in will of some sort. He will pass. She's going to marry a 29-year-old man, have all that money for him taken care of, and that's going to be his poppy. <laughs> poppy. <laughs> Okay, when you're 89, oh, nope, never mind. Do you think they're doing that on purpose? <laughs> what? I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Do you think they're doing that on purpose? No, they're definitely just trying to have sex, but. That's so nice. I'm proud of him. What? Having sex at 89. He's 84. 84, same shit at that point. Yeah, it really is, but 80, bro. Oh my God. But honestly, if you're that age and still pumping the brakes, yeah, no, it's unreal. If you're still p pushing gas, yeah. If you're, I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're drill still drilling. Oh my god. Yeah, like if you're not shooting blanks. If you're still putting buns in the oven, you're Dude, a hell of a baker. I need to talk to her. You're a hell of a baker. I want to have her on the podcast because I want to know if she's like, because she has to be a partaker in that event. She's 29. Okay? 29. Imagine four years older than me. And, and she's, imagine like a, a, imagine a ninety year old woman coming up to you and exactly. being like, "Come on, come, come put a come woman. put a toaster in this bun." I'd say, "Put your teeth back in and get away from me, Glenda." <laughs> I gotta cut that. Yeah, that's unreal. <laughs> oh shit! Well, 
That was that's nasty. But shout out to congratulations to Al Pacino. What? Shout out to congratulations. <laughs> no, I mean hell. I hope you can see your son's fifth. But <laughs> shout out Al, I guess. We're gonna get canceled. I'm for just some kidding. Reason. Shout out Al Pacino for your fourth child when you're 84. Uh, like is his first child 60? I bet he has a child that's older than our parents. 100. percent Yikes. Like if my mom and dad had a kid now. Yeah, like I would strike you'd almost one get of them. angry. Yeah, you'd you'd get very angry. I'd be like, "Are you serious? Like that could be your kid." Yeah. What do you? What is the end goal for that? Yeah. What for real though? Like, Look, if it was on purpose, I'd be like, "You're you like have you need to go talk to somebody yeah, seriously? Give the kid up, but not to you." Oh no. Imagine because that's my brother. Your, your or mom my and sister. dad. Your mom and dad. Oh my god! What a what a. Main event, main main movie actor, what is, uh, main character. What a main character type of shit. Your mom and dad has a kid, lends it to you, and they move to like Romania. You can't lend somebody a child. I'm, I'm saying, what if they elope? <laughs> well, they're already in love. I don't know what eloping they is. They have a kid, give it to you, they right. lend it, drop it at your doorstep. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Ring the bell, yeah. immediately hop into Uber Black XL, go straight to the airport, get on a plane to Romania, they never come back. They keep in contact, but now you are raising essentially your kid but it's really your brother or sister. I can't say that. Can you cannot say that. <laughs> I'd give you, him to you. You cannot I, ship the kid back to, to Romania. I would give him to y'all. I wouldn't take him. You wouldn't take a kid. Why wouldn't you take it? Am I fit to be a father? You'd have to learn real quick. I'd be a Did great you see dad. That? You if see I that wanted movie to be with one. Kevin Hart? Fatherhood? Very, insp very inspiring. That's it's his kid, though. That's his kid. I understand that. That's not my kid. That's my brother or sister. That's what I'm saying. It's a very, it's a very main character type thing. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> it's like, yeah, cool for y'all, not me. I'm sending them to Coas Cam and Mama Live. Y'all know damn well y'all would raise a kid that looked like me. That is very true. <laughs> yeah, he'd have a nasty ass tail too. Oh my god. What if he, he's definitely going through his emo phase? Oh yeah. I'm gonna be like he's my like, dad. <laughs> he's like, screw y'all, y'all even my rear parents. <laughs> Let me go see my brother. I'm like your brother's 36. Shut up. <laughs> go to your homework. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I think that was a fantastic episode. Do you think so? Yeah, I think it was a great episode, too. Again, I'll kiss you if you want. I don't. I didn't ask for that. You but do in our off days. Just shut up. Um, Before we get out of here, I love you, though. That was rude. Sorry. See, there you go. Okay. And then you give me that slit tongue. You wouldn't suck on my you tongue? give me that Harry Potter logo tongue. I wouldn't suck on your tongue. That's the most vulgar, nasty thing you've said so far. You really? No, I wouldn't okay, suck on Okay, if it was tongue. to save my life. No, bro. Why Damn! Are you, why are you no, dead ass. Okay, if it was to save my life, right? You're gonna get me to, to say yes, and then you're gonna clown me for it. Your <laughs> eyes are already getting that evil look. No, okay, I'm dead ass. Like, it's not weird though. It's love. So if I was, if I was, like, I was laying down, right? I just got hit by a bus. Right? You're not gonna put me in this scenario. I just got bit by a poisonous scorpion, right? <gasps> and I was laying down, right? But my, it made my tongue hard. <laughs> I got bit by a poisonous scorpion, and it made my tongue hard. They don't hard. bite. They don't bite. <laughs> and, I, and, and my tongue gets hard. Right there, and I'm I'm passed out, but my tongue's hard. Like that, and they said, "Cam, you gotta suck the venom out." I'd say, "Y'all don't got a mask or something, dog. You you, you don't got some. Heart. Where's all the wh where's the medical innovations going nowadays?" But you would you would suck my tongue. If it was to save your life, I had to suck your tongue to resurrect you. I would do it. <laughs> would you open your eyes or close them? I'd close them. I'd close them. What, what would the conversation afterwards be? <laughs> Love you, man. I ask, how did it taste? If you if that was the first thing after I just saved your existence and you have the nerve to pop up all preppy and jokey again, you go, How did it taste? I'd be, I would I'd probably punch you in your Adam Devil. No, honestly. I'd really go No, honestly, what if I didn't know how you saved my life? And I was like, Cam, how'd you do it? I would never I'd say, dude, I did a hella CPR. That's why your chest is sore. I was like, why is my tongue sore? You're disgusting, bro. Would you suck my tongue? I'd do it just to do it. All right, bro. See, that's ridiculous. All right. We love y'all. Episode 63 was a freak fest. Sorry about that. But before... Imagine you suck it, my intense. What is wrong with you? Dude, that's a nasty-ass visual. That is. And you've set the whole scene. You said you got bit by a scorpion. They don't even bite. They pinch or they sting. Anyway, I've never met one. <laughs> anyway, y'all. <laughs> Liv did uh, not like that code. subject. Code for this week before we get into the outro per usual. Code is going to be. Um, what should the code be? You have tears. You have tears on your. I don't know. Um, uh, uh, 
grocery store sneezing on strangers. G G S O S sneezing on strangers. S O S confuse the casuals. Drop it in the Instagram posts. Drop it in the TikTok lives. All that. Uh, drop it all over the Koala Club Patreon. If you're not a part of our Patreon, the Koala Club is growing every single day. We are bringing you tons of funny stuff. We have tons of stuff lined up as well. It's gonna be fantastic. Links in the bio. Remember, um, we have a we have the limited one week availability on Yikes, the bro. on the live show shirts that are available right now. It's gonna be available for seven days, and then seven never, days gone forever. If you're never again, if you're coming to the live show, grab it. If you're not coming to the live show, wear it in support from a distance. Um, they're cheap. All the information you need to know, link the block in the bio. <laughs> link in the Bellagio. Link in the I love bio. The Bellagio. Uh, you got seven day timer starting right now. Go ahead and grab the live show shirt. We cannot wait to see y'all June 30th, Southside Music Hall, Dallas, Texas. And remember, one at ten Koala Bears will make it home to Christmas, and I will see you next time. Hey, if you join the Patreon here, so you can't suck up my time. Why would you do that? Goodbye. <laughs>